Hello and welcome back to another video and today we're trying to answer the question of why is the Christmas term so hard? Why is it the toughest term? Why is it the one that teachers always want to get out of the way because they know it's going to be an absolute grind? And it's something that I'm really finding this year like I do every year and I just wanted to talk about it because if you're a regular watcher of this channel then you'll know that I am always a big advocate for teachers taking time out for themselves, looking after themselves, not being in school till ridiculous hours every single day and that's something that I'm actually really having to work hard to make sure I'm doing for myself at the minute. So during the week, normally I'll try and make sure that I leave school, you know, before four o'clock on at least three days of the week. And one of them is always guaranteed because it's PPA and so I get my planning time. And then I'll try and do two other days of the week where I'll leave early and I'll get something done for myself before the rest of the evening kind of gets going. And that's something that I've been really, really struggling to do. And the past few weeks, while I've been so busy with school, with Christmas, with everything that goes on, it's actually something that, you know, I've been maximum once a week I've been leaving at a sensible time. Other than that, I've been staying at school to get things done. And I want to talk about what is it I'm doing? Why is it that this term is such a busy one? Why is it so hard to manage? So first of all, with the Christmas term, you start off and at the minute we are full scale Christmas play rehearsal season. We've got a Christmas play coming up. It's in less than two weeks now and we are full scale on the rehearsals, really, really busy as we've got all of that to go through. And that takes up so much time in the afternoon that you're then working hard to play catch up and all the other areas of the day when you've got some free time, you're playing catch up constantly. You're trying to catch up this lesson or that lesson or fit, squeeze that bit in there, fit that bit in there. It's always really, really busy. And so we're trying to make sure that for the next few weeks and by the end of Christmas term, I think there's about three weeks left now, we are going to get everything done before we need to move on to our next topic. And that's going to be hard. It's going to be a push. And there's going to be some things that we don't get done. And that's just something you have to accept as a teacher, that you can't get everything done. You can't complete everything, especially in a Christmas term where you have to throw things in like a Christmas play rehearsal that takes up so many hours every single week. So that's one thing that makes the Christmas time really, really tricky is that you're constantly playing catch up, trying to sort things out, work things out. The second thing is that the first half term of October, the weather's nice, the sun's out, you have some time on the field, that kind of thing. And then after October half term, you hit November and everything goes a little bit downhill in terms of the weather. So it gets dark, it gets cold, it gets rainy, it gets windy. And you basically end up being huddled inside. And that affects you just as much as it affects the kids. The kids don't have that chance to be free, get that fresh air and run around outside at break time. And as a teacher, when you leave the house in the dark, you get to work in the dark, you get home again in the dark, you possibly even leave school when it's dark because it gets dark by like four o'clock every day. It can be really hard work just to keep yourself going, keep yourself motivated. And so again, it's one of those things where why I always say try and leave early is because if you don't, then it's just, it's boring. You, all you see is darkness during the week and that's not what anybody wants. You've seen recently with the lack of videos on this channel that I have been really busy and that is due to the whole thing of Christmas going on. I'm going to get more into that in a sec. But it's just about making sure that if you can't leave early, well, what can you do at school to give yourself a little bit of a breather while you're doing your work? You know, can you play a podcast or an audio book while you're doing your marking? Can you put something in the background on like recently? I've had a lot of football on because the World Cup's going on. I love the World Cup. And so the football's been playing while I've been doing my marking or doing my whatever it is, assessment data, that kind of thing. And assessment data is also a massive one on why it's so busy at the minute, because we've just done our first assessments for the year. So the first half term up to October, it's kind of you getting to know the kids, you're getting to know the class, you're getting to know where they all are. And then you do your first lot of assessments. And that's kind of your first benchmark and say, right, we've done this much work so far. This is where they should be. Who's there? Who's beyond it? Who's not quite there yet? And what are you going to do? Do what are you going to do about all of them? And it's not just the kids that aren't quite at the level they need to be that you need to do something about. It's everybody. It's also the ones that really should be pushing even beyond where they should be and haven't quite made it. For they might have had just a bad day. They might have just had a bad test. It could be any number of reasons. But what are you going to do about those ones too? The ones that should be where they should be and haven't made it. The ones that should be somewhere and haven't made it. The ones that should be right at the top and aren't quite there. These are all children that you can then push on in different ways and try and get them through. So that assessment data kind of benchmark is really, really important. And then from there, you then have obviously all of that to mark, which takes ages. And then you have kind of intervention things to put in place after that and start to think about where your children are and what they're going to do in the future to kind of build on that. So there's lots and lots and lots to do, as you can see. And that's why things like YouTube and that kind of thing take a little bit of a backseat for a little while, just while you get your head around everything. But then hopefully they do start to pick up again, like you can see here, I'm making this video talking about how busy I am because actually I found a little bit of time this weekend to take a minute and make some videos. So you are going to see lots more content coming out as always on this channel, all about teaching and about various other things too. So hopefully you'll enjoy it and stick around and I will see you all very, very soon. 